Charleston County will decide how to move forward on funding on a project meant to mitigate traffic on Johns Island. Live Five's Caitlin Ashbaugh there right now. Caitlin, you've spoken to some who say it may be too late for these changes to make a difference at all. Tell us more. Well, Raphael, the Northern Pitchfork is phase three of a project that's been in the making since 2004. That goal to trap to provide traffic mitigation and make sure that it doesn't fall into the back seat for Johns Islanders. Now, this new road behind me was just opened up to the public last week, leaving Charleston County Finance Committee to shift their focus to future design plans instead. Tomorrow's night's vote will determine if a remaining $1.8 million from the Northern Pitchfork project will support the widening of Maybank Highway from River Road to the Stono River Bridge. The county explains feedback connecting to the Southern and Northern Pitchfork have been well received thus far. After a week of being opened, homeowners say it's too soon to tell if this new road will actually help an ongoing traffic problem in the area. A few neighbors say the new road needs better signage or advertising. Others just hope it creates a sense of relief for incoming residential development and schools in the close area. If the committee desires the use of these remaining funds, staff could look into using chats, SIB, or a referendum vote to determine an additional transportation sales tax. There are some people who have bailed out, probably some of the people who have lived here longer and have that option. But the people moving into all these new uh, apartments and developments and condos and townhouses, um, they come here for jobs. Uh, the economy is growing. That's a great thing, except that along with that growth comes the responsibility to support it wisely. Well, the Finance Committee is set to meet at 5 p.m. to vote on this. If that passes, it'll head to County Council for a final decision. Reporting live on Johns Island, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.